Hi everybody. I am working in my Dilutions art journal today and just started by choosing some papers that I want to put down as my collage layer. And I was just looking at this and I decided I like what I have picked out, but I'm going to take this one and this one off and leave their spots, but I'm going to use these as focal points. These are two, um, I think this was part and this was part of a collage sheet that the Bohemian Crafter Evie offered the other day as a free digital download. So I took advantage of that and just printed it on my inkjet printer, but I like these two really well. I like the contrast of them. I like this guy's um, profile in there. So I'm going to save those and add them later. I'm just going to get these put down for right now and dry it off and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, I am using some Tattered Angels Color Wash in French Roast, the color French Roast, to just kind of go over some of these papers. Not completely, but some are lighter, and I just want to kind of bring the colors on the page together a little bit more. And I'll add water in some areas to lighten the color wash, and then in other areas I'm just leaving it dark. probably come back later with the same color wash and add some drips to the page. But right now I'm just getting color down. If you hear some ambient noise, kind of a humming noise in the background, I'm running a fan because we had non-stop rain yesterday. Well, night before last and all day yesterday. And I got a little water in my art space in the adjoining room, so it's mostly gone now, but I'm just trying to dry up the rest. So I'm running a fan. That was this color wash tint by Tattered Angels, and this is French Roast. I'm gonna dry it. Okay, I have this border stamp, it's just like scallops of text cut out. And I'm just gonna go around, I don't know if I'll go around the whole Page. I think I'm going to start here and there and see how I like it. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm going to just leave it at the top there and the bottom there. I really like this stamp, though. It is from this Stamper's Anonymous set called Classics Number no. 6.
and I just used archival ink in jet black. And give it a little dry here. Okay, I am going to use this stencil. It's by Stamperia and some just Americana craft paint in buttermilk. Just bring some lightness back to the page a little bit and add this clock. I think I'm going to add these numbers. I had picked out some pieces I wanted to add. If I can remember where I had them, then I can pick out a better place for the other stencil I wanted to add. And then bringing these back in, I think that's going to go there. And this one here. So numbers can maybe go right here. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good. It's odd that two doesn't really even look like a two. Well, that's okay. And I think maybe I'm going to put a three right here. And I don't know if these will end up showing or end up being covered up in the end, but because I have these numbers here, there's some numbers there. I think I'm going to go. Six and five again over here. Okay, that's good. And then we'll dry those. Move these out of the way because they're just going to blow away. The when I use the sponge dauber for stenciling. I just take this off and throw it in my water basin and let it soak till I'm done. I can just squeeze it out and it's good to go again until eventually, just like with the inks, they start to disintegrate and then you got to throw them away. Okay, I have just a piece of punchinella that I cut off the roll, just kind of a jagged edge. And I think I'm just going to put some of that down there with Liquitex Raw Sienna Acrylic. With a fresh pad on my blending tool here. some here.
It's subtle, I really like it. Um, I'm just going to add some here and there. I'm just kind of blending it out at the edges so it, I don't have any hard edges. And I can just wipe this off and use it again. I have a fine tip applicator bottle with fluid acrylic in Titan Buff. And I'm just going to add a little kind of scribble writing. there and maybe here just cuz need some lightness I think that helps brighten it up and doesn't take it too far away from the look that I have going I like these bottles a lot they have a needle in this long cap that goes down through the applicator tip to keep it from clogging, which is beautiful. And I'm gonna dry that. <laughs> okay, I am adding just a hint of color um, using the Tattered Angels, Angels Color Wash in Red Wine. just felt like it needed something. So this is the something I'm giving it and I'm watering it down a lot on my brush so it's not so strong. I like the way it's not taking the color real evenly. I'm getting some dark spots, which is good. It's adding to the vintage feel, I think. These cardboard pieces I put down with gel medium. kind of smushing it out and I may just kind of go around the edges a little bit just a hint water down a whole bunch my pages are starting to buckle a little bit more than I wanted them to so I have them clamped In this I might just add some drips with this too. I like that. I might. I'm gonna try just some full strength, just a little bit here and there on these cardboard pieces.
This is a really pretty color. Okay. Need a little more. I'll go on to this corner and the clock a little bit. Maybe into the holes. And just cut off piece of paper. Like that, I don't know if I can get it off. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, leave that alone. I'm gonna put some drips. And that was the color wash tint in red wine. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I added some little, little pieces of paper here and added some of that green tea, Tattered Angels color wash, just in those areas. Just to add a little bit of green, you can see that there. And then I just have a photograph and a tag for each side and I'm going to put some dimensional tape on the back so it can go across the cardboard. Put a piece behind the tag. there and then it just creates a nice little collage cluster right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. This one doesn't have to be elevated but I'm going to elevate it anyway. Because why not? Match both sides. I like this and this. I don't want to totally cover that up. Right there. Got the tag in there. Okay, I think that's it. I like it. I'll bring it up so you can see a little better. And I'll have stills at the end. So I hope you enjoyed joining me for this two page spread. Dilusions Journal and just lots of layers and just working real intuitively. One layer tells me what the next layer wants and I just kind of go with it and see what happens. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it out, that really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you did that and hit my bell so you know when I upload my next videos. 
And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.